All right, guys, this is my addendum video because there's a lot of confusion on installing the BL Touch for those of us that are new owners. I'm going to start by saying I'm brand new to 3D printing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm figuring it out as I go along. I bought my 3V2, right? I added the yellow springs. I decided I wanted a BL Touch, so I bought one. And then I watched all the install videos online and got confused as all get out. And I think where the confusion comes from is there's different kits and a lot of the popular videos have a different kit. So let's go back to the basics. I have an Ender 3 version 2. The kit I bought online is this one. If you bought any other kit, then this video doesn't apply to you. I got on Amazon. I ordered this kit for about $50. Okay. Here's the information on it right here. And now let's hop on to the computer and talk about that just a bit more. All right, here on my computer, I have the exact kit that I bought pulled up. Now, I didn't buy from this particular vendor. Honestly, I don't remember who I bought from. Uh, I don't endorse any vendors buy from whoever, but you can buy direct from Creality. This is the kit I got, and this is the addendum video for this kit. There are a couple of things to note. First of all, you've got your BL Touch, and it comes with three different brackets. Follow the instructions and use the one that's appropriate for your printer. In my case, it's the 3V2. Now, here's where a lot of the confusion comes from. A lot of the popular videos use a different cable. They have an adapter board. They have this end. But this end is a black, has two black connectors. One of them is a servo connector. None of that applies to us. Get that out of your brain. This is super easy and super simple. You have this end and you have this end. You can follow along with the videos to install your bracket, to install your BL Touch. There's the little end of that wire plugged into the BL Touch. The big end plugs in here. Follow the videos. You have to remove that screw. Excuse me, Mr. Octopus. You have to go under here, undo that cover to access your main board. I'm not going to do that. There's plenty of videos that talk about it. However, when you unplug your main board, it's going to look like this, except you're going to have wires plugged in everywhere. Now, this is the 4.27 board. Doesn't matter. I pulled this up just to show you one feature that it does in fact share with the 4.22 board. That literally says BLT. This is literally where you plug your cable in if you bought the same kit that I bought. You don't have to mess with any of that other stuff that some of the other videos talk about. The difference is when you open up your main board, you're going to have wires covering all of this and plugged in all of these places, right? Okay. So what you're going to need to do is, uh, you know, in my case, I had to undo a zip tie that was holding the bundle together. You're going to take the wide end of your cable and you're going to gently plug it in here. Now, what I had to do to do that, um, th there's a connector that's hot glued in here. So I didn't mess with it other than I cut off the zip tie and I gently moved those cables out of the way so I could plug my connector in. And then I took my cable and I ran back up somewhere in here and I put a zip tie on it just like they had it from the factory. I know, baby, I'm about to finish, I promise. And then I just followed the other wires out of the main board. You want to make sure you don't pinch any cables and you don't do anything to, to make it to where cables can come unplugged, okay? So that's it. You take your wide end and you plug it in here. And you trace the other cables and run your cable with them. In my case, because I wanted it to be pretty, I have run my cable inside the wire loom. It's really easy to do. You push it and it expands. And you can see the color of my BL Touch cable sticking through here as I ran it up. I cut off a zip tie. I cut off a zip tie and I had my cable come out here. And then, I, three zip ties. And then I put my zip ties back on. You can hear my helper in the background. And then I plugged that guy in. So the only thing that you need to be careful of there is making sure that you plug it in the correct way. Your paper instructions and lots of places online have this diagram. 
if you try to force that cable, you can bend the pins and you don't want to do that, right? So you want to make sure that you're plugging it in according to your instructions with the right color wires going where they go, which is pretty easy. They're all different colors. Okay, so now we've got our hardware installed, right? We ran the wire out of here, up through our wire loom, connecting everything back, and we've got it all plugged in. Now what? Well, you've got your firmware. Uh, I'll be honest, I made a rookie mistake and I downloaded the wrong firmware first. I downloaded the newest on the Creality site, which is for the 4.27 board. That's not what I have. Obviously, it didn't work. The printer made it about thunk, nothing worked, scared the hell out of me. So I started over and I tried to get the right Creality software with help from the forums. I know a lot of people got it to work and that's great. I never could get it to work. I flashed this guy, I flashed this guy, and, and I just got, I got crazy with it. So after asking for help, I have now currently trying the Smith 3D firmware. They have a guide that helps you install it. You don't need my help with that. Whatever firmware you choose, what's going to happen once you get it installed right? Let's turn the printer on. So we're going to turn it on. And you notice that the probe lit up and it dropped the probe twice. And now it's doing its thing and it's firing up. In my case with the Smith 3D, I have this neat little white line around all of the icons that makes it easier to see. You also have your level button. But right now I want to do something uh, for other newbies. This scared the heck out of me. Your auto home button, right? You're used to when you hit that, your print head moves and it comes up here to zero, zero. Well, now that we have a probe, that's not what happens. It's going to start and it's going to look like that. And I thought everything's great. And then mine started doing this. And I freaked out. Oh no, I did it wrong. Nope, that's just fine. This is your new home. So it went and it found its X and its Y, and now it's probing for Z. There it is. So you're going to have to adjust your Z offset. Uh, mine is set at 3.22, minus 3.22. However, yours is going to be different because of how the level you have your board at. I'm using yellow 20 millimeter springs. Some of you are using the stock springs. Some of you are using silicone spacers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The height of your board is going to be different. You're gonna to have to figure out your own Z offset. While we're talking about Z offsets, don't forget to unplug your Z limit switch. That mechanical switch that lives here, you don't need it anymore. I took mine off, I have not taken that out because frankly, I just forgot to do it. Next time I open up my main board, I will. Okay guys, that's it. Uh, from there, you should be set up and running and then go watch other videos learning all about your BL Touch and how to use it and getting into arguments over whether it's needed and whatever else. For me, it's 50 bucks, it was a quality of life issue. I am really pleased with it. I've been using it for about a week now. Yeah, I still level, I do, because I'm OCD, uh, but I don't do it near as often. And between that and the Yellow Springs, pretty much I can just print. My latest project is uh, this little guy, learning all about Raspberry Pis. I might do videos on those later. Okay, that's it. I hope this video helped you just a little bit. We're gonna hit auto level. I've got it set up to do the big one right now. So it's gonna go down there, it's gonna check over here. And it's, you've seen this in 8 million other videos, so I won't show all of this. But now it's working. It's doing its thing. I hope some of y'all found that helpful. Uh, again, I'm brand new. You asked me a bunch of technical questions, and my eyes are going to glaze over because I don't know. I just know with this new kit, wiring it is straightforward and simple. So good luck with it, and we'll see you guys around.